Hey there, I'm Lex and this is Riot and we travel around and work and live in a 6x12 cargo trailer conversion camper. And for the past two weeks we have had a en super enjoyable time staying south of a town called Battle Mountain off of I-80 in Nevada. Now stay tuned to find out why the Washington Post nicknamed this town the Armpit of America. I figure the best way for you to explore what I found to be a really quaint little town as opposed to the armpit of America was to take you for a little drive and a little walk through the main streets of Battle Mountain, Nevada. Like a lot of America's West, Battle Mountain has a wealth of history. As a proper town, Battle Mountain sprung up in January of 1870, and from 1880 to 1938, Battle Mountain was the operating headquarters for the Central Nevada Railway, as well as the Battle Mountain and Lewis Railway. The town's first copper boom developed in 1897 and remained strong through the 1960s. During the 1980s, the town's mining economy moved to the mining of barite, a heavy compound used in oil production. In the late 80s, gold mining showed promise and remains Battle Mountain's primary economic base to this day. According to local legends, the town's name stems from confrontations between Native Americans and early settlers during the 1850s and 60s. All right, and now what you've been waiting for. The reason it got the nickname, the Armpit of America, is because a Washington Post writer deemed it so in an article in 2001, citing the town to quote, lack character and charm, be full of ghastly buildings and nasty people, and that its location was in the midst of harsh and uninviting wilderness." End quote. The 3,000 residents of Battle Mountain took the high road and embraced being called the Armpit of America. They also had the ingenuity to convince Old Spice Deodorant Company to sponsor the town's annual bluegrass festival which was renamed the Festival in the Pit. Sitting at just above 4,500 feet of elevation, Battle Mountain's climate is semi-arid and averages 14 afternoons over 100 degrees Fahrenheit in summer. Winter gets chilly with an average temperature of about 40 degrees Fahrenheit. There are a wealth of activities around Battle Mountain, including the Copper Basin Trail System for hiking and biking, a ton of hunting, fishing, and trapping opportunities, and the Shoshone OHV Trail System, which is Nevada's first professionally designed off-road vehicle trail system. This historic mining town was a ton of fun to explore, and there is a wealth of free camping all around it on BLM land. I've really enjoyed my time around Battle Mountain and it's a little melancholy to leave the armpit of America. But before we do, there's some errands we have to run, like getting groceries and water before our next stop, doing some laundry and washing the bedding. And I had to run into Ace Hardware for a few things, which left me with a very fun surprise.
Another necessity before we travel on to take the loneliest road in America, Highway 50, is to make sure I am full of diesel fuel. Something I love about Nevada and Arizona is that they are very RV friendly and they have really long, really big gas stations to pull in. Now, naturally, I'm not towing, but I just want to give a shout out to Nevada and Arizona for their awesome gas stations. Now, as you can see here, I am also filling a spare five gallon container as I don't want to be caught where we're going without fuel. Oh, honk for beef. I don't know who's hearing me honk, but I'll honk for beef. Riot eats it. I like the cows. They're the facilitator of beef. Do you like beef, Riot? Riot and I would like to thank you so much for taking this small tour through the main streets of Battle Mountain and to hear the story of how it got designated as the armpit of America, a label that I am happy the town embraces, but I have to disagree with. I had a great time there. The town people were amazing and it was beautiful nature, not so much harsh and desolate Washington Post guy. So. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We sure hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. And we'll see you next time as we continue our travel adventures in a self-converted cargo trailer conversion camper. Yeah. Why should they subscribe to our channel? Are they supposed to subscribe to our channel? What do you say? Please subscribe. If you want to. It's really your decision. YouTube's weird. <laughs> I know. Okay, let's go hiking.